Hi guys, this is Lyndon. Um, today I'm going to show you how I created this uh, smoke effect that was made completely in After Effects. It's just like the thin type of smoke you might see coming from a candle or just something drizzling smoke. Um, so like I said, it, it was made completely in After Effects, no particle plugins, and it's pretty easy to make. I'm not actually going to be doing a complete tutorial because a lot of stuff you already know if I just go every step by step. So I'm just going to show you how I made this effect. So basically from the start, um, just created the white solid like this. I'll show you the mask, just like that. And one little tip is just to create two masks, like do one and then do another, which has a little more feather and just makes it look a little better. And then, you know, I created this fractal. Now, the cool thing about this fractal is that it has a really high, the height of the fractal is really stretched out so it creates these streams and that's going to create the streams of smoke um, so you can look at my settings brightness is down a little bit um, just a little bit of evolution now I did a lot of people you might go over with the evolution but you don't want to do that because your streams are going to shift too much and that's not going to look nice um, just a little bit normally it's like 200 250 but just 25 a little subtle amount and then the offset as, is just going to be animated upward because that's what the smoke's going to drift upward. So just you know, I, the array here, this expression, the x value is zero and the y value is time times negative three hundred because the negative values go upward. So that looks good. And uh, also added this uh, corner pin effect just to squeeze the bottom in a little bit. It's just uh, hold shift and just squeeze it in. All right, um, we're going to start adding the ripples now. For this. I really wanted to use turbulent displace because you can use displacement maps, but it just wouldn't look as nice as the uh, turbulent displace. It's, uh, you can get all those swirls and um, st things you can't get from just dis displacement maps. So I wanted to use this effect, and it does look better. I tried both of them. All right, so obviously it's animated upward. Um, not too much complexity because it's going to start looking too ripply. You know. So. Just you know, right amount of complexity. You're just gonna bending the streams a little bit. This is the, you know, the base distortion, um, and it animates upward with a little bit of evolution. Let's look at how much there is. Time times 75. So, at one second it's gonna be 75. Two seconds is two times 75. And the offset, it's just offset it upward, at pretty much the same rate as uh, the fractal noise offset, but just you know, just give it a little variation to make it look um, better. So. The next, here's where the smoke effect starts to kick in, because here we have another distortion, but the the effect of the opacity is turned down, so it adds another stream. So when the the effect of opacity is turned down, you can see both streams because the effect is not being fully applied. So it's a mixture of both, which looks really cool. And if you notice down here at the bottom, there's a mask effect, and basically, I'll show you the why I did this. If we take it off, you can see there's like two streams here. Um, you don't want the bottom to be distorted so much so I just uh, subtracted it but here's the thing um, this next layer is the same exact distortion but I took down the value and we play I only applied it to the bottom using a mask so um, it doesn't distort it so much at the bottom so that's kind of a cool technique I thought to accomplish that effect so again there's just another distortion layer just changing the random seed changing the random seed of all of these and just uh, offsetting the um, um, properties so it just gives it variation, and um, turning I turn this effect down too because it just creates more streams. So um, three three layers of distortion is pretty much all you need because you're going to start getting too thick and not enough uh, detail for each. So it's looking pretty good now. Um, and that's pretty much the whole effect. Yeah, I, like I said, it's pretty simple. It's just layers of distortion, um, and then last we have. Uh, what I did here was just a mesh warp and basically what this does is it stretches the bottom so the bottom shoots up faster because like with the smoke it begins to rise really quickly and then slows down as it drifts into the air so that's what it does I stretch the bottom of it um, how this works so you can stretch so I stretch the bottom of it so it rises quickly and then slows down so I thought that was a good way to do that effect and last just some um, make it look more photorealistic uh, like you filmed it with a camera you can uh, just add a different color, you know, because it's not perfectly, uh, not perfectly uh, gray. So it 
it inflects, you know, reflects colors from the environment or whatever. Just makes it a little more realistic. Secondly, just um, added some uh, film grain to make it look a little better. Let's go to full so we can see. It just uh, takes away the, you know, the perfect smoothness to make it look more realistic. And then last, just added this, uh, just crushed the blacks a little bit to make it look more realistic and turned the um, effect to opacity down on that. Um, just however much looks good. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can see how it looks like in a real photo. It looks pretty good. Um, here I just made it a 3D layer, fit it into the screen. Um, and it looks pretty real just for an After Effects element. Um, it looks better than most little smoke particles thing you see. And yeah, that looks cool. Alright guys, that's it. Just a quick uh, walk over of how to create this pretty cool effect. Um, hope you'll be able to use it. See you next video.